Good morning, everyone. Okay, this is not my usual type of chat. Well, I'm showing you how to make a nice little beanie. Um, I gotta stop saying um, I noticed in all my messages, so I'm sorry. You can turn that into a drinking game, is you know, and probably have a good buzz going on if you start counting them all. Anyhow, today's brought to you by the memory of me once upon a time being a modeling scout. Yes, I was inspired way back, I think early 90s. There was a TV show called Models Inc. And I watched that show, I swear to God, the first episode. I was like, oh my God, that is what I have to do. And didn't do it then. But years later, yes, I did start scouting scouted for an agency in Toronto. Then I opened up my own agency in Peterborough called Anamarka Models because of some guy I was dating. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so what happened with the agency is that I just ended up moving away from Peterborough, which has happened many times, and living in Toronto. Yes, so at, at that time... You know, I thought, I'm so naive, and I, th I think I just have to thank myself for that instead of beating myself up, because I'm glad that I trust. I'm glad that I look at people, and I don't see the bad in everybody. You know how people just don't trust anybody? Don't do this, don't do that. Like, no, I was the opposite, and I would do things and then splat, hit the wall. So, and that's okay. I, I learned about it, always. And I'm glad that I wasn't jaded. So anyway, when the whole world shut down, I was in my home living my little life. And then all of a sudden, boop, there is someone that was arrested who, once upon a time, I shook their hand. This guy, his name is Jean Paul. And you can do your research and all of that stuff. I was mortified. I, yeah, just mortified. I couldn't believe it. I'd only met him once. And he was from Paris. And I don't know. The name just stuck. And I'm like, how many John Pauls are there? So, you know, there's a million. Well, more than that, probably. Um, again, um... So I looked him up, and sure enough, he was the owner, like one of the owners of Karen's, where, seriously, his buddy in New York actually flew to Toronto to meet me in a hotel with another agent. They were trying to get me away from the agency that I was working for, so we actually played a little trick on them, and we padded up my... Uh, what's it called, portfolio of all the people I'd scouted. And I can't remember if I went a little bit. I went for one interview because um, they wanted me to travel across Canada, staying in all the, you know, hotels and scouting for them, which was a dream job. I had actually met one of the girls one day I was staying, I was at the Sheridan. I had to be an MC for one of like a, a modeling convention. And I just remember this beautiful woman coming in and she was just in a white button shirt, some jeans with all her leather things. And she came into the hotel room and just flopped on the bed with a beautiful little French accent. And I was just like in awe. I was like, oh my God. I love her life. So, yes, I didn't know how to feel when I thought about how close I came to that human trafficking ring that everyone knows about and a lot of people died. I don't even really want to say names because it's so creepy. So, yes, that was my life where I had to think like, oh my God, were the girls safe? 
did anything happen to them? Like what? You, you, you just, ugh. anyway, they're all adults now. I don't, yeah, I just have unanswered questions and um, a little, Oscar, don't eat my, don't eat it. Oh, you're so bad. My cat is obsessed with my little cute, my, no, honey, that's mine. My cute little plant. I'll take a picture and show you, but I don't know why he wants to eat it, but no. Come on, Papa. So anyway, yeah, that is my, you know, and in all of it, at the end of when I stopped working for them, they actually took my models and my models left and went with them. And I never did get paid commissions for them ever again. And, um, and then I just thought, you know what? Karma. <laughs> it all goes around. So eventually one day, like, you'll get what's coming. And sadly, this beautiful couple broke up. And, um, which was shocking. And they came to me years later and actually, I don't know if they really apologized, but they kind of just flipped over it and wanted to be kind of like a little friend or say happy birthday and this and that. So I kind of took it as that, um, you know, life goes on. You can't stay stuck in these times that weren't so great. And now seeing everything go down over the last two years and who these people were that they were hanging out with. I'm so glad that all of that happened and there was like a, just a clean break. So anyhow, that's my story. I have, uh, like one day I think I will go through the portfolio and show you the models that I scouted. One, I even scouted at a flipping polar bear plunge. Can you believe it? They cut a big hole in the ice and, um, People just jump in, which, yeah, I can't even wrap my brain around that. It takes me 20 minutes to get into a heated pool. But anyway, yeah, I, I just, I was kind of hung over that day and everybody's like, come on in. So I was dressed. I look like a homeless person. And so super, yeah, just hung over. And I, so I went and then I look across the lake and I was like, oh my God, she looks like she should be on the cover of Vogue. So I went over in my craziness and I said, like, you're not going to believe this, but I handed her a card and I said, I'm actually a scout and I want you to come and see me with your parents in my office like next week. And yeah, that girl, she, uh, she, uh, went out there, made some money, got some great shots. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy my little video of making my beanie out of scrap yarn. I can't throw things out. I'm so glad that I can't because this toque is fantastic. It's a little bit big, but anyway, I'm going to write everything down there. So all the little captions, so you'll be able to know how I did it. And, um, that's it. I love you all. Thank you for watching my little video and, um, I'll talk to you soon. I have another couple of videos coming up, but I have some things to do today. Got to go to a new client and uh, keep living my fantastic life. Okay. Uh, have a great one. Bye-bye.